Okay, here's how to display the number of components that you need to manufacture within a given assembly. And we're going to pop the description. So this is pushrod. And we're going to put pushrod up here with the number of instances required to be manufactured. So the way to do that is what you need to actually do is pull in a, a drawing of its assembly. So the assembly in this case is this pendant thing here. Okay. So there it is there. So we'll just pop that down in the corner. Okay, and now what we need to do is go to annotations here and we'll select tables and in tables you'll find bill of materials. We'll take the bill of materials. Now we need to assign that bill of materials to a component. Now if we say it's assigned it to this component here, then what you would find is that you'd only get one represented. But I know behind each one of those buttons there's a push rod. So there are three. So what I'll do is I will assign it to the assembly. So yeah, we've got it. So we've assigned it to the assembly. And then all you need to do is, well, we don't need this column. So I'll select that. You need to select it by the top of the column there. And um, this, this light blue section. So we'll select that. And then we'll do a right click and we'll select delete and delete columns. We don't need to see those. And then all I need to do is we'll select the top one there. Now this is push rod so we're down to push rod in the in the part number which is there and we'll select the one just above. I'm using the shift key and I'll select all and then we can we can go to delete again and delete all the rows. And this push rod there, we don't need this lot, so I'm sure you can guess that we'll we'll select all that lot there by selecting the top one, holding in the shift key, selecting the rest, right click, choose delete, and then delete those rows. So there you go. And then um, we can actually if you take if you just hover over so the arrow comes up, just double click. Uh, there we go, that just neatens that up nicely and then we'll pop it in the corner. So there we have it, we have push rod in quantity 3 and now all that's left to do is we need to get rid of this. So if you just go down to the drawing which is there on your um, explorer and right click the drawing and then you can choose hide on this menu up here, hide. There you go, all gone, neat and tidy. I've been Sparky Douglas giving a solid rocks tip, smash the like, subscribe and share and I'll see you for the next tip. Bye now.